integral 6. And here's eta squared. I know anytime I report a statistic relevant to a particular hypothesis, you should always report effect size. I don't do that for assumptions like the Levine's F test. I've never seen anyone report effect size there. You don't need to do that. But in terms of your, your analyses, your main hypotheses, you should. And where you get eta squared, at least for SPSS, you don't get it in the ANOVA output. Uh, now you could divide between group sums of squares by total sums of squares with a calculator, but you can also just do the analysis again to the general linear model utility and go to univariate instead of compare means one way between one way ANOVA. You don't get eta squared here, but if you go into general linear model, univariate, put student achievement and teacher group in there, and then options, click effect size. It's a bit irritating that you have to do this. Ideally, SPSS would not force you to do that, should do it in all utilities. And then we can see teacher group, F value of 5.58, significance 0 0.006, and eta squared of 0 0.134. Thus, the null hypothesis of no differences between the means was rejected, and 13.4% of the variance in, in oh, that's wrong, I should say, uh, teacher uh, in student confidence was accounted for by teacher group. I actually copied and pasted this from an old, an, a previous ANOVA I did, uh, which was based on tips. So in this, now I, after I make reference to the effect size, I could make reference to whether this is a large effect size or not. Cohen has guidelines for eta squared, but because it's not really central to my hypothesis in the sense that I want to do some postdoc testing further, and then I report effect size based on Cohen's D. But you certainly should, and maybe you certainly could, and maybe even should report Cohen's guidelines here, but I didn't. To evaluate the nature of the differences between the three means further, because the ANOVA is only telling me that I have a difference somewhere, maybe several, but somewhere, the statistically significant ANOVA was followed up with Fisher's LSD postdoc tests. And I have a citation here from Hader, because Hader showed that Fisher's LSD is a very attractive postdoc test when you have three means. Most people think Fisher's LSD is not a useful test but it is actually useful for three means. It's the most powerful test you can use. The difference between the low teacher expectation group and the high teacher expectation group was statistically significant. And here I report the T and 72 degrees of freedom and negative 2.45, P equal 0 0.017, and Cohen's D of negative 0.91. Now, if you go into SPSS, for example, and maybe other programs as well, you'll find that in the po multiple comparisons table for the postdocs, you don't actually get t-values. SPSS just reports the p-value and the lower bound and the upper bound for the difference between the means, standard error. To actually get the t-values, which I find useful to report, you can kind of trick SPSS into doing so. And I'll just show you quickly. You have to do contrast testing. So if you go into compare means one way, and then you go into contrast, you can actually specify coefficients. I'm only going to do this quickly because I have another video on contrast testing. But if I wanted to compare the lowest mean versus the highest mean in a Fisher's LSD context and get a t-value, I could put these weightings, and it's going to compare the lowest mean versus the highest mean, and it's going to cancel out the average mean. When I do that, I get an extra table, contrast tests, and I actually get uh, the same p-value as I would uh, for the difference reported in Fisher's LSD. So low expectation, high expectation, significance 0 0.002, you don't get a t-value. But when I did it as a contrast test, here I get t3.19, degrees of freedom of 72, and here's that identical p-value. So this is actually Fisher's LSD, uh, but it's done as a contrast test 
in SPSS. So that's a nice little trick uh, for doing Fisher's LSD, and you want to get the t-value.